Hey guys, Bigfoot here. Well, we're getting ready to go on our 10-day uh, sea kayaking trip in the San Juan Islands uh, with Steve Carlino from Road Community College and uh, five other veteran students. This should be an awesome trip. So I just wanted to bring you along and show you uh, what we're packing or what I'm packing, how I'm packing it. And uh, so in case if you decide that you might want to go on a 10-day trip or, or any, any length of time trip on the water, you'll have kind of an idea of how to pack. First up, we got our day bag. This is gonna have my lunch in it every day. Uh, this is a little five liter bag. It's just to keep things dry. All right, so I've got some pistachios. That'll go in this bag right here. I've got a little bag of protein jerky. I've got um, some jalapeno tuna fish, little packets. Uh, these are about a dollar and uh, these are awesome and they taste good. They're great for backpacking or other adventures where uh, you're not gonna be solely living off the land or maybe not living off the land at all, you just wanna bring food. Uh, I got a couple packs of raisins. Those are good for you. Um, and then also I am gonna be fishing. So, um, so I have my hand line here. Just, um, it's a lightweight one. Uh, I have some that I've made, but they're a little heavier and I'm trying to save every pound I can because I only got 300 pounds. That includes myself and I weigh close to 250. All right, so I'll, this is my hand line. I'll wrap some line around here and then that'll be good to go. And then I got a carabiner that'll just clip right on the side of my kayak. Weighs almost nothing. So in my, dry, in my day bag, I got my food, but I also am gonna put a couple lures in here. Um, some, these are just some rubber worms, so. Those are going there. And then I have this nifty thing. If you have a Buy Mart near you, maybe Walmart might have it. But um, this holds all of my hooks right here. And I'll pre-rig these up uh, the night before. That way they're already ready to go. All I gotta do is, uh, is snap one on a swivel, good to go, jigging for rockfish. And I got some salmon, um, some salmon lures in here also. But the cool thing about this little setup is it's got these ends, you open up the end, one of the ends, and out comes all these cool things. So this is some weighted jig heads, some more weighted jig heads. The majority of what I'm gonna be doing is rock fishing. So I'll be jigging for those. Might do a little salmon fishing. Um, be sweet to land a 40 pound salmon uh, in a kayak, that'd be awesome. And then I got just a little bit of room in here for some more jigs. So, and that's also gonna go in my day bag because it's the most uh, accessible to me while I'm in my kayak. So that's just gonna go in there. And then I'll also put a flashlight in there because we never know, um, you might need a flashlight, especially you got planned for emergencies. So I'll keep a flashlight in there just in case, just a small one. And then I'll also throw in my little multi silverware there. Um, the fork, I broke the fork a while back ago, but I don't need a fork, I can eat with a spoon. It's got a little knife on it, can opener, which I don't need the can opener, but it's got a knife and a spoon, that's all I need. And the knife is actually pretty sharp, so I can use that to cut fish also. Then I got my, uh, my knife here, and I've taken and um, rigged it up with some paracord there uh, around the sheath, and I've also got it going through there so it's all connected so that way I can got plenty of 550 cord on there so that way I can use my knife if it drops over the kayak all I gotta do is pull it back in it's connected to my sheath that'll be connected to my life jacket so that'll go on my person so that's that for the day bag and with these dry bags you want to leave enough room in here to where you can get three full folds uh, over this so you get all the, as much air as you can out. One, two, three, at least three. That way you have the better chance of keeping all, as much moisture as possible. So there's that. And then for now, I'll just clip this carabiner with my hand line right there. And that one's ready to go. All right, water. Um, I brought, I have this five gallon um, collapsible water jug. Uh, we'll be stopping at some place probably every three days where there'll be fresh water. So I'm only going to bring two gallons, two and a half gallons, because if I were to fill that whole thing up, that would pretty much 
limit me on my weight and I want to bring any, be able to bring anything else. So if you're a smaller person, that's awesome because you get to bring more water. But two, two gallons should be good for a couple days. Now for my food bag, I got a 15 liter bag here. And so every day I've got different meals planned out. So for day one breakfast, um, I probably will just have a very light snack. So I brought two packs of raisins. Uh, for lunch, I have uh, another one of those tuna packs. So my dinner, uh, I'll, I won't, I'm not gonna put that in the food bag. I'm gonna put that in my, uh, in my bedding bag because then I don't have to open up this bag until the day two. So I have day one's breakfast, which is just a couple of packs of raisins. Day one's lunch, which is a thing of tuna. And then uh, day one dinner is in my bedding. So now day two, I've got oatmeal, another thing of raisins um, for lunch. I've got a pack of jerky, uh, another thing of tuna. For dinner, I've got some rice pilaf here. And what I've done is I've taken my seal meal, and I've taken the rice out of the box so it's not as bulky. And I've seal meal in the rice with the seasoning packet. And uh, I took the cardboard that has the instructions on it just in case I forget. And I folded it up and stuck it in there and seal milled it. Tiny slips right in here, doesn't take up much space. Okay, and then I'm hoping, I'm hoping by the end of day two, maybe day three, I'll have uh, caught some rockfish so I can have fish with my rice pilaf, which I absolutely love. Okay, now the next morning, I'm gonna have a non-conventional breakfast and I'm gonna have a freeze-dried ice cream sandwich because it just sounded good. Um, and if you're into freeze-dried stuff, Mountain House makes a really good variety of breakfast, snacks, lunches, dinner, all that good stuff. So you can do that. Um, I don't, I, I don't eat many of them. They're not bad. They're actually pretty good. But I, I like to try to eat as much food off the land as I can. And then I just bring, I, I bring a lot of that tuna. I love that tuna stuff. And then I bring rice because rice is a good staple. Um, if I cook too much, I can save it for the next day and it's, it'll still be good. It's easy to keep um, in the situation that we're gonna be in. Okay, so that's for breakfast. Then for lunch, um, I have got, okay, for lunch, on these couple days, I brought this here. This is powdered peanut butter. It weighs hardly anything. And I've got uh, probably about a half a cup in there which will end up turning into uh, about a cup and a half or so. So that'll be good. And I brought an extra bag in here so that we can put some in there and smush around with some water and make peanut butter. So I got some peanut butter there with lunch along with, along with another pack of jerky. So that'll be my lunch for that day. Um, lunches are, I, I usually don't eat a whole lot on lunch, just a small amount. Breakfast and dinner are the most important to me. So for dinner that day, I'm gonna have, I brought four days worth of mashed potatoes and this, I seal and mailed also here. And then right here, I wrote down how much, how much water I need per serving. So that way I can just take out a quarter cup, put some, uh, put some boiling water in it. And I've also put, you can't see it because it's in the middle of this, but I've also cut a little, a couple little things of butter and stuck in here. You don't have to refrigerate butter, so it works good. So I've got, my, uh, I got my mashed potatoes here and that'll, if I need it to, that can last me four days. If I want a couple big servings, then it'll last me two days. Okay, so that's dinner for that day. And then this is for uh, two days worth of breakfast or uh, maybe I might have some for lunch. And I've just taken some cereal here. This is uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. You can take whichever one you want, super lightweight. By the way, hardly anything and it tastes good. Uh, so, that's for uh, maybe a big breakfast or a breakfast and a lunch. Okay, then for the rest of the remainder of the trip for breakfast is I've got just more oatmeal. I like oatmeal because it's lightweight and it's, it's filling and it gives you a lot of uh, calories and, and needed energy. I've got a couple more 
packets of tuna fish here for lunch and another thing of jerky for lunches. Uh, some more raisins, some more raisins here. And then I've got one more thing of rice pilaf. So I have probably half the trip's worth of food right here. The other half of the uh, trip, I'm, I'm hoping that I catch quite a few rockfish and I can eat fish and not have to cook all of that rice. Um, Cause I can portion that rice out and cut the servings in half and save that rice because, and, uh, because I also have some Ziploc bags in here to where I can save some of it dry and uh, not cook it. I got one more ice cream sandwich because these, these are good. That's probably my favorite mountain house thing. And then, can't miss this. It's super lightweight, keeps you going every day and that's coffee. Coffee is also good for headaches. Um, it's a good, kind of a good survival thing to have. So that's my food there. So I'm gonna do the same thing on here. Free wraps, fold it over, make sure it's nice and flat. And then, uh, there you go, you can flip it up. Now, this is gonna be for my bedding. I'm not really a big sleeping bag guy. So, I have, uh, right here I have my wool blanket and I've got it strapped together uh, with a couple of um, there are sleeping bag straps, you can buy them at the, at the store, but I just have it strapped together with a couple of those. So that'll go in my dry bag. And it's wool, so if it does get a little damp, it's okay, it's still gonna keep you warm. So got that. Um, okay, now I'll show you. So this is my first night out there. Um, I don't wanna have to dig through my kayak, dig through my gear, to find dinner. So I'm gonna bring a simple mountain house for my first meal, uh, my first dinner, I should say. And that's chili mac with beef. And I'll just shove that down in here with my, with my sleeping bag, or my, um, my wool blanket. Then at nighttime, um, to keep the ears warm and early in the morning because we will be out on, on, in the coast, uh, on the ocean. So um, it's a little chilly in the morning and the nights and I don't like my ears or my bald head to get cold so I've got a beanie. That'll also go in here. The next thing I'm gonna put in my, uh, my sleeping bag is gonna be also the next day's breakfast. So I got a thing of raisins and some oatmeal. And then my seasonings for dinner, especially if I catch a fish. So I got these little shampoo bottles so you can buy at Walmart, anywhere by Mart, and I filled them with salt, pepper, and then I made my own little mix of garlic, basil, and parsley, because I, I like that, it's about a third each. And so that'll, those will go in here. And that is my entire first night's setup there. It's nice because first night I can just pull my stuff out, it's right there, don't have to dig through a bunch of stuff. Now for my clothing bag, I'm packing super light. It's not uh, gonna be super cold. So what I'll have in this bag will be a sun shirt. Um, you can get these also at Walmart for pretty cheap if uh, they're very budget friendly at Walmart. I think they're like 15, 16 bucks and uh, they're actually a sun shirt. So they block the sun's rays, um, keep it from getting a sunburn especially out there uh, surrounded by salt water. You've got a higher chance of getting a sunburn. So, and even though I'm tan, I still get burnt sometimes. Then I got a short sleeve shirt and it's made out of the same material. I got my army shorts, which if you were in the military, then you'll have a pair of these. They're just little short, real lightweight shorts. That'll be my shorts. To, uh, to wear while we're kayaking. I don't like to wear pants while I'm in a boat. And then the most important thing of all it, for me is socks. Um, I do not like damp feet. I don't like wet feet. I like dry feet and I love socks. So I've taken my seal meal 
and I have individually packaged each pair of socks for the trip and that'll ensure that I have a dry pair of socks every day. I could have packaged them all together, but then I would have to open the package and there'd be a chance of the other two pairs getting damp or wet. So I've done them individually and that will ensure that I have dry socks. So that's going in there. Um, I have a pack of batteries in here. I'm gonna take it out of this package uh, before we go, but um, I just brought extras in case anybody else needs uh, batteries. So that'll go, that'll go in there. Um, and, oh, and my towel. I brought a, a pretty lightweight towel. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Just, you can bring a towel from home, whatever. And that will go in there. And that's my clothes. I'll have a pair of pants. Um, they're the, the super lightweight pants. I haven't, uh, I just wore them this last week and so I'm washing those. But they're uh, super extra lightweight uh, 511 pants. They don't weigh hardly anything. Okay, now let's talk about warmth because it could be a little bit windy, a little chilly, whenever you're anywhere near water, especially the ocean, uh, you have a chance of it being kind of chilly at night and in the mornings. So I don't want to be cold. I don't like to be cold. Um, so I'm bringing this. This is a stuffed, stuffable jacket uh, made by Patagonia. And I did not buy this with my own money, uh, but it is a neat jacket. My cousin Rob's wife, Billy, uh, gave it to me. But it's pretty cool, it's super lightweight. It doesn't weigh hardly anything, but it's extremely warm. And it's a perfect jacket for um, a summer coastal trip. I think the days are supposed to be like in the 70s, nights in the 50s, so it shouldn't be too bad. But I'd rather have it, it's light enough. It doesn't, it's not gonna take up much room. It can get wet and it'll dry out quick. So it's got a synthetic fill in it. Okay, now let's talk about um, cooking. So I'm gonna hopefully be catching some fish and uh, it's fire season, so we can't have any fires out there. I was gonna bring a, maybe a two burner Coleman stove, but that's too heavy. So I'm just gonna be bringing the old jet boil here. The jet boils are awesome. You can buy other brands, NRS or uh, oh, I can't think of other brands, but Walmart, Bymart, all those places, they have their own brands of uh, stoves. But jet boils awesome. Everything fits in itself. So I'll be bringing this to cook my fish. I'll end up making fish soup, um, which is okay anyways. And uh, I can put some rice in there, have some good fish soup, salt and pepper, some uh, maybe some sea ocean water, and it'll be good. So bringing that. Next, I have guaranteed spark. So I, um, I can bring a lighter, but if it gets wet, I gotta wait for it to dry out. So I am bringing my ferro rod. I love my ferro rod. Um, it's an awesome tool to have. It's a good survival tool also. Then I'll be bringing my power bank. If you're gonna be bringing a GoPro like I am or a phone to take pictures, you'll wanna bring one or two, or maybe even three of these power banks so you can recharge your batteries. And uh, so that's cooking. Okay, I got one more piece to show you guys. So, for nighttime sleeping, um, it can get humid on the coast. It is humid on the coast. They're just surrounded by water. So uh, I'm gonna bring this ultralight backpacking tarp um, just to make a little half shelter uh, to keep that dew off of me in the mornings so it's not so uncomfortable to get out of my sleeping bag in the morning. I'll be nice and dry. Won't be rolling up uh, a damp wool blanket. Um, and then I have some 550 cord that I'm bringing uh, to stretch out between some trees or figure out a way how to get this tarp up above me. If there's no trees and no way to get the tarp above me, I can just lay the tarp over me and that'll work too. All right guys, well that's my packing for the San Juan Islands trip. Uh, 10 day adventure. And we're, set, we're gonna set out of uh, uh, Anacortes, Washington there and we're gonna have a blast and hopefully catch some fish. Hopefully it'll be sunny, maybe we'll see some orcas and I'll record all of it 
and bring it back to you right here on Bigfoot's Outdoor Adventure Channel. Thanks for watching and uh, thanks for your support. All right, guys, this is Bigfoot. We'll catch you guys next time. Out.